Hello, church family. I know many of you already know this, but we're part of a larger family of churches and believers who cooperate together for the sake of the gospel called the Southern Baptist Convention, or the SBC. While most of you probably know that, some of you don't, but the SBC is 40, 47,000 plus churches, 18 million members with six seminaries, two missions agency, the International Mission Board, the North American Mission Board, and the Ethics and Religious Liberty Commission, or the ERLC. The SBC is the largest non-Catholic religious organization in North America. It has been my privilege to serve in various roles, from a trustee, one year I served as first vice president, I've been committee members on several committees, and even the president of our pastor's conference in 2009. What I want to tell you today is that I've been asked to allow my name to be placed in nomination to serve as president of the SPC in this coming June's Nashville Convention. Kathy and I have prayed about it and considered the impact of this decision upon our lives and our church. We've sought the wisdom of elders and leaders at the Redemption Church family. And to be honest, we sense God is leading us to allow our name to be placed in nomination this coming June. If elected, and that's a big if, I want you to know that my role as your pastor will not change, nor will my priority to be your pastor change. The term is two one-year terms, that, that's it. My preaching responsibilities and priorities are here at Redemption. I, I ask you for your prayers because of the nature of the challenges we face in our nation and in our denomination. I ask for prayers for wisdom and courage to lead if I should be elected to do so. If it, it's an honor to be asked, it's, it's an honor if I get to serve. But I'm going to tell you the greatest honor of my life is being your pastor. Uh, we have faced many challenges and experienced many victories together as pastor and people. And God has been faithful to us, hasn't he? Through it all. And in this hour, God is calling, maybe calling us to serve our convention. Then we need your support, your prayers, your faithfulness, and to call upon you to ask God to give me supernatural wisdom and courage. Thank you for being our generous, loving, faithful family. And it has been my blessing to know you, to serve the Lord with you. I love you. I pray for you. Now I want to thank you in advance for loving me and praying for me.